little recipe that we're gonna do with the food processor is I'm going to show you how to make a pie or cake crust. And it's going to be made with dates, soaked and dehydrated overnight almonds, and coconut oil, and you can see that it's really warm in here because it's all melted. This is extra virgin coconut oil that is usually solid at room temperature, but we're warm so it's melted on me. But extra virgin coconut oil is very, very good for you. And the reason we soak the nuts is because you have to soak the nuts overnight so that the, you can get off the enzyme inhibitor, and then we dehydrate them back so that they're crunchy again. The reason there's an enzyme inhibitor on the nuts is one for the growing season. If it, it has the enzyme inhibitor on there so that it won't sprout too early, so it has to rain a lot for Mother Nature before it'll let it sprout. Otherwise, all our plants would die, and it's also a protective mechanism from, for the plant from animals. So it's going to kind of disrupt your digestive system if you don't soak them. This recipe is very simple. So we do raw vegan cheesecakes here, cheesecakes, <laughs> made with cashews. But this part is just the base, just the crust, and this is what we use our food processor for. So you put a cup of dates, a cup of your dehydrated almonds, a teaspoon of extra virgin organic coconut oil, a teaspoon and a half if you like it kind of soft. And it's really simple, you just hit on. That's it. See how it's all finely ground up? So you would just take this and you'd push it into your pan and it'll all stick together with the dates and the almonds at the bottom. Dump it in. The more you grind it up, um, it just depends on your preference. So this one here is gonna be a little bit more chunky, which is what I like, but other people like it finely ground, so you could just leave it in a little longer. You just press it all down into the bottom of the pan. And then put your topping pie or cake on top. That made no sense. <laughs> or, okay, so you press it all down. And then you just put the filling on top of the crust. Is that, I guess, how you say it? Sounds right. Yeah, okay. You can play with the both those two, as <laughs> I said.